So it is called the five minute activity. So I have some focus here. So while well presented, think uh, that uh, all the people here are your students, right? So you yes. can use us, you can give us instructions. <laughs> yes, so don't be afraid of that, right? So children of elementary or yes. intermediate level. So uh, here is a five minute activity, so you can uh, use this activity when you start your lesson. And uh, it depends uh, on the questions that you are going to choose for those. For example, you can, if you take some easy questions, the, it is suitable for elementary students. Uh, if your questions are uh, a bit complex, so you can just give them for your intermediate or previous students. So this, uh, mint, uh, this five minute activity, it is, I think, it is suitable for elementary and intermediate students. It just depends whether your students are strong or not. So that's why I'm going to give you this. Hopeless, and you have to work in pairs. So one for two. So everyone should have one. It's always two. <laughs> okay. We need one more. No, one for two. Is one, for one for two, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, so we have uh, how many groups do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, you work in three and six. You work in three. Six groups. So you have, uh, it is called five in activity, but I think in order to uh, just to not to waste time, you will just have three minutes to uh, write the answers. So, for example, the first thing is to list three things you can need. So you, ha you have three minutes to write as many things as possible. So please start three minutes. Thank you. 